all using computers, stuff like that. It's pretty crazy. I'll show you the sales office though. <laughs> show you a lot of, we're going to show you the back of the house. I'm going to show you what really goes on here. that was set up for, um, we actually had an event um, last night, it was one of our cultural programming events, we do a lot of cultural programming and like things that are free or ticketed like for the neighborhood. This one happened to be on, what was it? Sex education. Sex education, yeah. So I was like, yeah, there's a couple speakers and whatever, we've had all kinds of crazy things in here too. Uh, I I'll go with this. Really expensive too. Three fifty a dollar. Situation over here. Uh, all the room, all the floors are structured like this, so the elevators are on the back side. But every time the elevator opens, you always get that view. It's the first thing you see. Once a week, all the team leaders, we meet once a week in every department and we discuss what we're doing in our departments and we're always looking to improve. We're constantly looking at feedback. TripAdvisor is a big one. Um, man, that's, that is a singular goal of ours. We're always trying to improve. Always, always, in any way, shape, or form. Always. Any little thing. We have a thing at the concierge desk, this is an example, it's called the last minute list. And it's a thing that we that we created because we were getting calls from people would say like, hey, do you have like because of the weddings and stuff? They're like, yeah. do you have a t uh, do you have a bow tie? Do you have cufflinks? Do you have um, deodorant? I forgot this. I forgot that. You know. So housekeeping has some stuff, but we created a list based on this whatever calls the front desk was getting for these things. So we had everything from yarmulkes to nail remover, nail polish remover pads to, I mean, you name it, we have it. But yeah, okay. just the other day, <laughs> someone said, um, asked for contact solution and we didn't have it. So we have that now. <laughs> Within an hour. Like now we have yeah. that, we have plenty of them. Whoever needs, con we have cases wow. and contact solutions. So it's like, this is, a, this is an example of how we, we improve yeah. based on feedback. It's instantaneous now. Um, and who better than to, to talk with the hotel guests, you know? Yeah. You know, yeah. how else would you know what's wrong until they tell you what's wrong, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, I'm working downstairs, I'm, I'm not in the rooms mm -hmm. now, you know? So, just basic, um, where the bed is situated, you know? Like, a lot of people have come back and told me that, you know, they hit their foot a lot on the, on the edge of the bed, you know? So maybe <laughs> it's something that we can work on. Maybe we should shape it off a little bit, you know? Mm -hmm. so these simple things mean the most to, to hotel guests. Mm -hmm. I had another guest the other day telling me, why is not there a coat rack as soon as you enter the suite? Because there's a, just a, it's a large wall right there. It makes sense, you know. Why not put a little coat right here with just two hooks, and you know they can hook their coats in and they can walk right in. Why don't we have two tissue boxes in the rooms rather than one? And that was his feedback, and he said he loved the hotel. Like that's his only feedback, you know. So these things matter so much to certain guests, and you know what, you know I can just I can perfect this just with these two little things. Why not with a, a toothpick that belongs to the hotel? He'll catch us. Um, so we have that and we have a team behind him. You know? um, so we do have security, we have uh, two security guard staff at o and during the overnights, which is you know, probably the most dangerous time. Uh, we have security team that's here during the day and it's 24 hours that this hotel is manned. Uh, beyond that, uh, we have um, fire safety uh, that, that mans the hotel as well. So there's a company outside of the hotel that, that's monitoring the hotel in case of any fires or anything like that, any smoke and smoke um, getting into the, well, the, these things. The, uh, detectors. Um, so it's security around the hotel is very, very important. Uh, we also do training. So about two weeks ago, we did uh, fire brigade training. 
So employees of each department typically have to be a part of this brigade training because uh, in the case of fire, uh, we have to have people that is designated to do certain tasks in the hotel. So there's someone who has to run to the floor below the fire um, to see if, if there is a fire up there, if it's a false alarm. There has to be someone who runs to the fire panel, but he has to be certified as a uh, fire, safety director. fire safety director. So that person can only go to the panel. He's, his sole job is that, that, that job, is to see what's going on in the panel. And then he's the one who the fire department come in, they're looking for the fire safety director. So they go straight to him and they have all these employees throughout the hotel who's doing different things. Someone's outside and then people to where the location is for fire. You know, so this is the safety area. So tons of things like this. Training is number is probably the most important. Um, a team, a well-trained security team behind you, also very important for them. Um, then there's small things like when you're at the front desk, someone calls and say, hey, is this person checked into your hotel? You know, like you know, we don't say yes, we don't say no, you know. Because maybe this their their mother calling them, you know, calling for their kids. So there's a way that we have to maneuver this as well. You know, so it's very it can be very difficult. Uh, sometimes we have um, wives come to the hotel, and the husband's name is the only name on the reservation. How you handle this? You know, so all of this takes training, and this is something that we take very very close, pay very very close attention to. Plus, we have full digital surveillance on everything. So every inch of this property, if anything happens here ever, with the exception of the rooms, clearly. Um, we will go back and get it on video, full police reports, everything. 